Okie dokie. Let's talk tarping and professionalism. Here's the load that I repowered. I gave the, the other guy the this big, you know, front of the deck, all the way to the back of the deck, 16, 13, six high, eight foot wide, 50 foot long. Three tarps properly put on, properly secured, all that jazz. All right, and this is what I got repowered. This nice long injection molding, you know, Pete machinery, you know. Now there's a couple things you have to think about when you're doing this. Where are your tie down points? And I'm, I'm satisfied where he tied it down. I'm gonna cross the middle. I'm gonna put one more chain here. You know, just be on the safe side, right? Now, but other than that, you know, that, that, that part's fine, you know. That part's fine. The problem comes from this piece of machinery is far too long for the tarp he put up there. This is my third tarp. This is the middle tarp. It's shorter than the end tarps. We have mountain, we carry three tarps, two end tarps and a middle tarp. The end tarps have the flap on it. They, they're a little bit longer than the middle tarp. Now, he put this on and he put it on sideways so it did not fit this piece of machinery. So when he saw that, when he saw what was going on with this piece of machinery that, that his tarp wasn't gonna fit, what did he do? Well, the number one thing he didn't do was say, this doesn't fit properly. I need to put another tarp on it. Leave the tarp he had on it, pull it all the way to, pull it all the, way to, to the back. Get out the second tarp, put the second tarp on. Yeah, it's gonna cover 85% of it, but it's gonna be tarped correctly. That's the thing. You gotta do it correctly. Now, I'm, I'm making an assumption here that when he I got the information that I was gonna be taking this load off of him to bring it out here to uh, Arizona. He did not pick up this load until after he knew he was repowering the load. So, turn this around. So, what it seems to me is that he, in his head, he said, I'm just gonna do a slip shot half-ass job and and just throw the tarp up there it says it needs to be tarp i'm just going to throw the tarp up there and to help with how it looks to help with how it rides i don't care about safety i don't care about what what it looks like going down the road whether it's going to rip and tear and and, and torn to shreds so i had to stop in the past two you know the first two days seven times seven times to try to readjust that tarp because the tarp wasn't supposed to come off of it. But it got to a point where it was just too unsafe to keep driving down the road like that. So I ripped it off. And now I'm going to put another tarp on it that fits. And if it doesn't fully fit, I'm going to put a second tarp on it. That's called being professional. Doing it right the first time. It's not difficult task to do. Now, I'm not particularly worried about the very back of this machine being fully covered. I'm not worried about that. If it only comes down to like here and rests on the chains here and is tight around the chains and it's fully bungeed and the water is going to sheet off that way, none's going to be blowing into it, I don't care. You know, that, that, that's fine. It's the top mechanism that, that's really the worry. The lower half is not the worry. Now you see we have the machinery, the, the mechanisms all exposed back here, no covering on it, because this is gonna this typically you know inside a building, you know, controlled climate type situation. You got this door that's got a bungee because that door slides. I guess it's sliding freely. 
You got this tray, which is just bungee, you know, just zip tied up in there, which can get lost, you know, a little hand clamp up in there, zip tied up to, to hold it on. You got this light right here. This held on with the electrical cable, you know, rattling around, blowing in the wind, which shouldn't be that way. It should be attached to the top. Let's go take a look at the top here. You got the reefer next to me running, so we're good. So we're gonna put this tarp up. That's the tarp I took off yes, the other, yesterday, or the day before. So you can see the top is all open. We got this to worry about. So you can see right out through the top. I put these V boards on to give me something to roll the tarp on. Strap, strap is just tight enough to hold the V boards. On the on the this door here, this door here, and the other door on the other side, which is in the same position but closed, I put this here because this little point right here was cutting the tarp. So we're gonna roll the tarp out. We're gonna adjust that that V board there a little bit that way. The V boards are there just to let me be able to roll the tarp out a little bit more, more smoothly and evenly without having it fall down inside the machine. And then back here, you know, this whole conglomeration of stuff here, it's just a mess. You know, it, it's not, you know, it needs a lot more padding than what the guy put on there. Cause he really didn't put anything on there. I mean, you got this light here that's vibrating all over the place, you know, tubes and wires and cables and all that jazz and it's leaking oil on the deck. Like I said, this thing is loose. So the professional thing to have done was, A, to put the tarp up correctly to begin with. Not to pass the buck down the road. Oh, the next guy, screw him. I'm just gonna throw this, this insufficient tarp up there and I'm gonna do a piss poor job even with that. One, instead of putting it lengthwise, he wrapped it widthwise. And it didn't cover this piece as it should have. But we're gonna put this tarp up, because this is, this right here is about six foot three, right here. So I gotta lift this over my head to get it up there. Roll all the way out, bring that, the flap is gonna be right here, bring it down, make it as aerodynamic as I possibly can. And then from that point on, you know, we'll, uh, we'll bungee it down, not as smooth as possible. Like I said, if I gotta put more straps up, or if I gotta do, you know, do some, uh, some more uh, V boards to make the, uh, the, the tarp sit correctly, we'll do that. Which more than likely, what I'm probably gonna do is back here. What I might do back here is put a V-board right over the top to try to get the, the tarp off of this stuff and, and, and around it. But we'll see, you know, how it looks. Like I said, I'll make that determination as I go along. So, word to the wise, word to anybody new, just be a professional. Just have a little some responsibility for what you are doing. And if you're, if it's gonna make sure that you're safe, other people are gonna be safe. All right, once we're done, once I get this tarped up and rolled out and bungee down, we'll show you the end result. Hey. All right, let's take a look at it while the tarp is just on, but not strapped down. Comes all the way down the front. This side piece, could it's gonna come forward just a little bit. I'm gonna pull forward a couple inches. So this, the side panel will wrap around the front a little bit. And you can see it actually covers the entire machine all the way down to the back the tarp is laying on the deck this is how you properly tarp a, 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 a uh, you know 
some of the some of the cargo you carry when it says tarp it doesn't mean you tarp three inches of it it doesn't mean you tarp everything but three inches of it it means you tarp the entire thing now every trucking company out there every owner operator when they put when they buy tarps they say okay what is the size of the trailer what is the maximum height that we're going to carry on a regular basis what size tarp we need from that it's a simple thing i was supplied it's like this side is a little bit further in front than the uh than the driver's side so we pull the driver's side forward this side is wrapped is pulled forward enough so it's a little uneven but we're going to fix that but like i say you know when you're given this the, these these tools to do your job use them all use them all correctly don't half-ass it all right so we're gonna we're gonna start bungeeing we're gonna you know, pull the to the driver's side forward a little bit then we're gonna start bungeeing down so we're gonna put a bungee here at this corner a bungee at the back corner back corner driver's side back corner on the front on on the on the front corner on the driver's side then we're going to start folding the sides then we're going to do the front then we're going to do the back or the back then the front whichever i feel like doing at the moment but we're going to make it look like somebody actually took you know half a second of their their time and not passing the buck of someone else to make sure this is, is right and correct you do the job right first of all for yourself if you got no pride in yourself you're not going to do it right secondly you just do it right when you know you're giving it to someone else you should do it right i mean why am i messing with it? the only thing i should have been doing was taking the tarp off not taking a tarp off putting a tarp off and going through this whole rigmarole it's called being a professional all right let's take again or what we got now fairly decent quarter protection up on top where we have a little sharp point close down the back kind of aerodynamic in the rear it may flap a little bit once i get going but if i notice that i'll throw a strap across it to hold it tight but for right now we're going to go with this but if he had done just 20 percent of what i did here i wouldn't have had to stop seven times to adjust and finally rip off this black tarp yeah it's going to catch a little air but nothing like what it was before okie doke so i don't even know what time it is now sometime after eight o'clock i think let's take a little gander here 8 11 in the morning at least that's what that says i don't know if i set my uh my internet you know thing to the correct time yeah 8 11 in the morning So we are going to go get a shower. The app is not exactly working correctly because it still says six guys waiting for a shower. And I'm pretty much assuming that that ain't correct. Alright, so. No shorts. A t shirt. Everything else is in the bag. Got our watch, got our glasses, got the phone.
go get a shower. Get all clean after messing with that tarp. And then we'll spend the rest of the day waiting for this week to kick out.